friends. I wanted to make a video to talk to you about something today. So fall is fast approaching. It's going to be here in less than a week. Everybody's putting away their summer clothes. Walmart's got their workout gear on sale. In fact, yesterday I just scored this sweet sports bra for three bucks. Everyone's getting ready for winter and putting away their beach bodies. So I'm taking this time to rededicate myself to improving my body composition. Um, recently, I just found out that uh, the nutrition supplement store where I go to have my in-body scans done is starting a holiday transformation challenge that's gonna be lasting for the next three months. Um, even if I just participate, I'll still win a $50 gift certificate, which is really nice. Uh, but the main winner wins a $500 gift certificate to the store, which I would probably give to my husband because I don't really use any workout supplements. But it's still a fun motivator. And I'm already going to the store to routinely use their in-body scan just to follow up on my own progress. So they have a point system for fat pounds lost and muscle pounds gained. So I really like this challenge because it's not weight based, which um, a lot of times when you're working out, you might not see a lot of weight loss or you might see the scale go up some, but there's still a lot going on inside your body. A lot of nice changes. And this is going to be perfect timing because in December we are going to Cancun and I really just want to be able to feel comfortable wearing a bathing suit. Um, we do a lot of walking around and activities and dancing and, and things like that in our bathing suits. So I want to be able to feel comfortable. Uh, so I just wanted to tell everyone about that. That is what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of months. Um, I'm going to continue with my same <clears throat> workout plan uh, with some adjustments. So unfortunately, a few days ago, I was having some shoulder pain and I feel like I've probably got a torn rotator cuff, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments. I typically follow a weightlifting routine that's about five to six days a week. It's a very basic push, pull, and legs split. Um, so yesterday I took a day off from doing my chest exercise or my pushing exercises. Uh, and today I've got back and biceps, but I'm not really sure how much of that workout I'm going to be able to complete. So I do have a set of rotator cuff specific exercises and stretches that I'm going to be doing most days of the week to try to help me see if there's any improvement. If I still have issues after a couple of weeks, I'll actually go to the doctor and, um, they may recommend physical therapy or uh, worst case scenario surgery. Uh, I am still doing daily walks with my dog in the background here. He, he likes the attention. Um, daily walks about five days a week because on the weekends sometimes things get busy or we're just feeling too lazy, but that's just my goal, five days a week walks. And then uh, one to two days a week, I am doing high intensity interval training on the walks. Uh, I try to time those days out for uh, the day after, uh, the first or second day after my leg day workout. So that way my legs aren't sore from doing sprints when I go into my leg day workout. So uh, my plan for nutrition is I already follow a low carbohydrate diet, but I'm actually going to be joining a food challenge as well, just to make things even more difficult for me. It's going to be a beef, butter, bacon, and eggs challenge. So those are the only foods that I will be eating. Um, 
and I have done this challenge before and it was really great. Uh, I didn't lose a lot of pounds on the scale, but my body measurements and the way my clothes fit and my progress pictures definitely did change. So it's a, it's a great uh, little food challenge to follow if you're wanting to do some recompositioning. So I've actually got my first meal here. Um, this is, this is bread that's made from egg whites, and I got that recipe from Indigo Neely. I kind of merged two of her recipes in because I didn't have enough of the powdered egg whites, and I didn't have, an, I had liquid egg whites, but I wanted to use the powder, so it's mostly the powdered egg whites. Uh, and then I also have several pieces of bacon and one over medium egg, I like to bust the yolk and then let the yolk run into the bread to give it more flavor. And then the bread was uh, toasted in a pan with some butter. So this is gonna be delicious. Um, I will have a goal of two meals a day. I'm not gonna have any snacking. I'm going to eat until I'm completely stuffed. And I, I know from experience that um, this uh, way of eating is very satiating to me and I won't feel deprived at all. Um, and then I will still be having coffee in the morning. Um, I won't be using any sweetener, except for this morning. I forgot that I was doing that and I did add my liquid stevia to my coffee. But after today, no liquid stevia. So there is my plan. I will continue to document my progress uh, throughout the next couple of months and anyone can feel free to join or add your thoughts in the comments. Thank you.